I used to call it Austin Gotham because of the corruption. Now I just call it, because of the police, I call it Afghanistan. Heroes for sure. Risking our lives unarmed to film thugs that are.
situations. What's your opinion of police that beat people up just randomly? Just randomly, obviously. Yeah, randomly. Uh, obviously, randomly. I, I, I don't think it's right. But even so, um, police have way more to, a, an advantage. And even so, I think they can use their hands a lot more than they use their weapons that they use. Maybe their okay. head? Oh, my God. Their heads, of course. You know, I see these guys that are trained for a couple of years. And they chase down pedestrians who haven't fought once in their life. You know, non-violent people who are getting chased down by the cops. I've seen it here on 6th Street, a pretty, you know, liberal place in such a conservative area, Texas. And I see it here, so I can't imagine, you know. Do cops have the right to come up to you and lay hands on you without investigating you, just grab you? I hope they don't. Yeah. I don't think do they do. Do you have the right to do that? I don't think anybody? they do. Oh, no. if I were to do that? It'd be, it'd be, a, it'd be a, a, be, a assault, I'd be, right? I'd be tased or shot. So cops shouldn't have any more rights possibly no. than us. No, 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 no. Not only that, but, uh, you know, it's become more of a deal as of the past two years that they are, um, you know, using their guns uh, more than they need to. Do you live here in Austin? I do. Cool. Other than that, other than the police, how's Austin? You like Austin? I mean, even the police do their job, most of them. Uh -huh. But uh, from what I've seen here, um, they do they do more than what's needed to. To do the situation, yeah. Uh, a couple months ago, someone Che walked and uh, right here, yeah. they got something uh, very unfair for what they, they deserve. They got beat down and arrested for walking across they the street. They did, yeah. And something, uh, you know, I, w I could probably do right now and I wouldn't be noticed for. Right. And that, unfortunately, this is my skin color. True. Isn't that bullshit? Yeah. But we can use our, our privilege to help others out. That's a proper use of privilege. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, so we can know, film with our smartphones while someone that can't afford it. Smartphone, possibly, and if they try, or, no, or you can't use your smartphone. Do not let them try to stop you because you have every right. To yeah, film. yeah, absolutely. You have every right to film. Cool, man. Yeah, but uh, this bump, this bump. All right, you thanks, man. Get on the sidewalk! 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 Get on the that's some bullshit. Is that your friend? Yeah. Okay, good. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm telling you one last time. Get on the get sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk. I can get feel. Get on the sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk.
video. Good. Okay. You know him? Hey, yeah, I, I gotta pick up dead people in the morning. So y'all better let me out first too, bro. Let's give him a call. Oh, I know. Search me. I don't, have I don't do drugs. Search me. Talk shit, bro. Search me. I didn't spit on you. Did they tell you what you did? Yeah. Exercise yeah. your rights, man. Hey, tell me what I did. Tell me all I did was I was trying to cross the street. Sergeant. So, is there an incident number on this one? I don't have it yet. Okay, can I get it when you get it? Be careful. Yeah, you guys have to look it up? Or? Uh, yeah, we can look that stuff up. We got all the If we give you the number, you can get it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we can get his name and all the other stuff. What was the reason for it that he was beat up? I didn't see the stop, so I don't think I can wait. You want to see my know. video? Sure. The officer is like punching him in the face. Yeah, he's not giving the, give the hands. Is that okay? Yeah, if you're not giving the hands, they can stop him. So. so can I beat up an officer and punch him in the face if he's resisting a citizen's arrest? Is that a proper arrest for a citizen too? I guess I don't know. I haven't thought about that. I haven't either. So we have to yeah. think about that. Consideration. Can I ask you a question? Yes. So what I heard people saying over there was that he was sort of crossing the street and paying attention and bumped into one of the big spikes. Is that something they can arrest him for? I did not see what happened. So I can make a comment on what they told him. I guess they asked him to move and he didn't. I don't know. I didn't see it all, so I'm, you know, I'm, just, I'm just wondering if there's some cars there, it'll be some DMAP for us to look at. Cool. So, yeah. I look forward to it. Are you guys going to reserve Halo on that one? Yeah. Awesome. Did, yeah. I want to look at it. Y'all asking for an incident number already? He said he's going to get it to me before the end of the night. Okay. He didn't see anything, though. He's not going to comment. Howdy. Is that my good side? No, no, no. Well, I'd rather my, me point the camera than you be in the way of the camera when I'm reporting a crime. Yeah, I think it's a 302.2 says you can't actually get in the middle of the camera. It's your policy signed by your city council. And it's your, a guideline. Yeah, it's a guideline. It's a guideline. So it's a law. It's kind of a guideline. But when that fails, all the police becomes never, illegitimate. The Seem nervous with your lives. Mm. You go to church? What does that matter? Uh, I just want to check your morality because we want decent, honest police officers, professional. Do you live in Austin? Obviously, it doesn't mean anything to you. Because we want to be policed by people that are in our neighborhoods, not people that come here to control us. Usually, the attitude that you're showing is someone that doesn't live in town. Yelling at the cops whenever they were beating the fuck out of the black guy. Yeah, you have a right, and that's not interference. That's totally legal. First Amendment, Constitution protected speech. Careful, don't get beaten in the face, Richard. That's the new punishment on Sixth Street. Facial beatings. Like it, citizens rest hey, Chris. every one of you. Let's keep filming them. Yeah. Doing a good Make job, sure guys. Gets shot, right. Yeah, and if it does, it gets documented, and you can turn it into their lawyer, and it can help their case get their case. Yeah. I filmed the guy, a black guy, getting beat up just tonight. All these cops around him. This guy was beating this. The cop was beating him in the face. Beat him in the face. And I interviewed the sergeant, so we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine police cars, 10, 11. So there's at least 11 officers responding to this seemingly innocent incident here. Doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. We got people that are trying to get to it. Oh my goodness. Everybody's stuck here. Nobody can move. It's creating a traffic jam over what? So this is a one-way street. This is the direction of flow of traffic. Everyone's going backwards. People have no idea where to go because the police have this blocked off. They're not worried about people backing into other traffic. They're not worried about controlling traffic. They're just over here, just fucking off, interrogating citizens. See, look at this. Look at what these people are doing. They're just lost. Nobody knows where to go. Nobody knows what's going on. They just know it's some kind of major fucking crisis. Traffic control, oh traffic control, where art thou traffic control? Is anybody here on the clock that knows traffic control? You can't get through here at all. People were trying to get through and the cops blocked it off, so 
This guy's gonna back up. This guy's gonna back up. They're backing against traffic. These guys are backing up. Here comes Favor. He's gonna do an illegal U-turn. These people are turning around. So this is the kind of, this is what your money buys. This guy, I've already seen one rear end collision, almost another career in collision. This guy's going the wrong direction. All this traffic is now going the wrong direction to get out of here. And we got oncoming traffic, going towards oncoming traffic at 3 a.m. Anything's possible. Anything is possible. When you have police that aren't gonna do their job of traffic control, they're just going to create a blockade. If you notice, there's a blockade here. They're going backwards, they're bumping into each other, there's cars going this way, that way, cars doing U-turns on a one-way, and they're over here standing around. Let me check out what our money's getting us tonight. Who do you work for, who do you serve? Each other and yourselves, right? Look at that. If your gun is bigger than your brain, put it down, put it down. If your gun is bigger than your brain, put it down. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. I need to pick up with my AR-15, please. That. Um, I can't get in here. Um, can somebody help me? The sergeant's still in charge of the scene. He's a, he's a supervisory officer. He's, he's always present. Yeah, he, and he can't see, he couldn't see the black guy getting beat up. He couldn't, could he? No. Because I don't think he was in the pilot. Um, yeah, he's just not interested in seeing it. Just like Sergeant Deere's not interested in seeing it.